So I'm creating a series on Vedic mathematics because Vedic mathematics tell, told you that you want to do faster mathematics, uh, faster arithmetic, and that is all Vedic mathematics is all about. And then uh, these Vedic Murishis Munis used to take triangle and squares to create and pentagon to create different Yagna Vedis, uh, the fire, um, the place where they used to worship fire and put homage. So that is not true. I told in the first video that there were advanced tensor mathematics and that was there for thousands of years. There is a whole history of evolution of tensor mathematics. Now, today I will talk about how a few prime numbers were used as elementary tensor mathematics, even in the pre-Vedic era, even in the Rig Vedas and, uh, and especially in, in some Vedas and uh, Vedic scriptures and, and cultures, you will find that this particular four prime numbers, two, three, five, seven, were repeatedly used to create several fundamental aspects and it is embedded in the culture unlike any other numbers. And um, if uh, I, when I did mathematics, I came to learn that two, three, five, seven, this um, four prime numbers can contribute up to 80% of all possible uh, rhythms and uh, symmetries of the universe. And mathematically, I, 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 I saw this because two uh, is 50% of the symmetries of the universe is C2 symmetry because 100 by 2. 100 by 3 is 33.3, uh, but 6 is divided by 2 and 3. So uh, it comes down to 16. So 50 plus 16, 66% of all the symmetries in the universe you will find two and three. That's why two and three are so, so important and to come everywhere. And uh, then comes five. Five contributes nearly eight percent and seven or eight percent. So 15 percent more. So basically 81, more than 80 percent of all possible symmetries in the universe, you can do, know or don't know. You can explain with C2, C3, C5 and C7 symmetries. And this was there in 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 early Vedic period mathematics, when mathematics did not develop, evolve into the discourse of advanced tensor mathematics, um, uh, that time these uh, primes were there. So I will explain uh, a few, with a few examples why these four prime numbers uh, came and, and how actually the advanced tensor mathematics was born in Hinduism as a, as a discourse of the religious act. Let's make a journey of two, three, five, and seven. Two into three, uh, you get six. So six Ritus were there. And six is the uh, symbol of Shiva Parvati. So you have a uh, triangle like this. Uh, you like you, you, you write uh, pa Parvati and it's like Shiva. So Shiva and Parvati is the union of two different uh, triangles coming to, together and forming a star. So, so this uh, concept of a Shiva Parvati fusion came from C2 and C3 symmetry and it is everywhere. So you always try to divide every single uh, system in terms of C2, C3 symmetry. For an example, six Ritus, um, uh, the seasons, uh, um, you, you divide it, you could, you, could, you could make it two or three and there was no problem. But six Ritus you combine because three belong to, um, uh, three belong to uh, Shiva and three belong to Parvati, Parshati. No, 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 whatever. Then two into five is Dasha Disha, uh, ten directions. So two into five, C two and C five symmetry comes together to create because five fundamental elements are there, and the two um, is the C two symmetry is uh, just like I have here. This side, this side are, are similar. So. Uh, so always the duality um, has to be uh, had to be maintained. So if you have uh, ten directions in the Urdhva Loka, ten directions will be in the Sukshma Loka. So uh, that's why C two into C five uh, you have uh, Dasha Disha. So ten different fundamental uh, directions. I don't know in today's today's kids don't learn this, but uh, uh, Purva, Paschim, Uttar, Dakshin. Um, you know, uh, uh, um, and and then uh, northeast, uh, southeast, and all these four corners and Udhada. Um, so I forgot the names. So um, uh, ten directions had a different ten different names. So C uh, three and C five fifteen fifteen is uh, Tithi Tithi. You know the uh, the um, Earth uh, Sun uh, uh, Sun and uh, Moon are rotating in a plane. So the planar difference between Earth and the moon, and then 
in earth and the sun there is a there is a uh, four degree gap and that gap is um, that gap is always there so you uh, based on the how that gap is uh, ch changing into um, into the into whole 360 degree you divide uh, you get a month so uh, the based on that a tithi is created so we do not uh, count a date that's why hindus always have um, uh, 18 hours 24 hours uh, something like that for a for a day um, and that varies and that creates a problem so three three into c5 symmetry three is three guna satarajatama and five fundamental elements so this is c3 into c5 you always take 15 boxes and you try to um, create completeness or, or loop because uh, three guna panchatatta three guna creates every single materials of the universe so uh, uh, c2 c3 is a hara parva the fusion the duality and gunas come and then uh, uh, c2 c5 is um, elements with duality gives you directions or different dimensions that you can think of c3 c5 is gives you all the materialistic universe that, that is paksha and uh, c2 c7 uh, it creates uh, 14 lokas and as you know c2 c7 that's why seven nodes are there um, uh, and uh, Aroha, the fundamentals of Ragas were there. And uh, then finally comes uh, C3, uh, C3, C7. C3, C7 are 21 uh, different kind of um, Sulava Siddhanta. It was there. I will kind of get back to that. So Sulava Siddhanta mathematics, the first tensor was born in C3, C7. So you create uh, 21 different kind of, uh, kind of geometries. To create a Yagnavedis and uh, Yagnavedis geometry, uh, you have to understand how you uh, designed the, the the firing place where you burn the fire. That's very very important. And you have you thought about cavity resonance? If you think of cavity resonance or cavity resonators, then you will understand how electromagnetic wave needs to be packed in a different dimensions to generate different kind of uh, frequency notes or fundamental notes, just like uh, music. Musical notes. So the musical and the mathematics of music came from the from the early C3, C7 symmetries. So seven C3 and C7 symmetries gave us um, uh, gave us all different kind of geometries of Yagnavedis. And C3, C7 was used in Sanskrit. So when you uh, create Sanskrit, um, uh, ek bachan, di bachan, bahu bachan, seven karakas, and three past, present, future. So you create a three cross, three cross, seven. So three cross, seven is a common two different dimensions come together to create a three-dimensional perspective in the Sanskrit grammar. So that uh, three cross seven uh, will come alternately whenever you want to create uh, three or higher dimensional tensors. And that you generate also in the uh, Yagnavedis. Um, then finally, it comes uh, five into seven, uh, 35. So five into seven, 35 comes from... Uh, um, uh, 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 Samveda uh, 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 melodies. So in some Vedas, there were 35 different rhythms and I have selected them and I have already created a um, uh, created a episode where and where i have noted all the 37 different kind of vedic rhythms uh, and 35 of them actually comes from shambeda and later several other rhythms were added so so if you want to sing or music you want to resonate with the infinity uh, to the to the to the uh, whole um, then you need to get into c3 into c7 so that's why uh, two, three, five, seven combined together constructs the very foundation of very early uh, Vedic period. If we want to learn more about uh, uh, three cos seven, 21 different Vedis, Yagna Vedis are uh, altars, and uh, uh, three into seven, uh, 35 different kind of classes of rhythms, as mentioned in Shambheda, then mm, we have to uh, get into uh, Yajur Veda also, because Sulava Sutra is from Yajur Veda, and that, uh, that particular mathematics. 
always we have to remember the cosmological rhythms when we try to build in into our mathematics started from C3 and uh, sorry, C5, C7. So five into seven, uh, uh, Saptarishis um, were there for seven different kind of um, uh, so seven different kind of rishis or, or, or um, uh, kind of sacrifices that you can you can you can generate with three three three, three different different uh, gunas. So uh, Sulabha Sutra is not the only um, only text uh, in that uh, in that in that period. It is essential that we um, put the Triya Sanghita and uh, Sulabha Sutra side by side because. Uh, Taitriya mm, uh, Sanghita is arguing that there are 35 cosmological rhythms in the whole universe. So if we look at the stars, they looked at the stars for thousands and thousands of years, and then the knowledge passed on that how many different kinds of rhythms that they see in the cosmological order and, and through their different mathematics. So they compiled in Taitriya Sanghita the 35 rhythms should be there fundamentally. Of course, you can combine and you can create many derivatives. However, that 35 number, C3, C7, uh, has to combine with uh, C3, C7 in a Sulava Sutra, that how many ways, uh, 35 bricks, how 35 different units you have to uh, take and then combine them together to create a Yagna Vedis. So when you are creating the Yagna Vedis, the, fire, um, uh, the firing uh, uh, rituals, uh, uh, then always you have to remember that you have to take 35 different elements. So it is not that any number of bricks you take, any number of uh, stones you take. So number of um, uh, stones or number of elements are fixed and the kind of geometries that it, you will create, C2, C3, C5, C7, or whatever it is, uh, you have to compose using only 35. 35 represents 35 cosmic rhythms that, is, that you find in details in the Samhita. However, remember, as I told you, that uh, Hindu culture and Hindu um, worship system was actually uh, implementation of different cosmic events into your life. So when, uh, when Tatriya Sangita talks about rituals mm, and uh, 35 day rituals and many different kind of uh, festivals, everywhere uh, they suggest to cleverly include uh, this number 35 and a C3, C7 symmetry. So 35 is less important than C3, C7 uh, symmetry combining together. So you will find in the Yagnivadis or Vedikas or, or altars, firing altars, and also different cultural festivals. So if you have to put Slava Sutra and Tatri Sangita together to understand its uh, true implications. I must say that uh, there is uh, Buddhayana's uh, Sulava Sutra and Kattayana's Sulava Sutra. Kattayana's Sulava Sutra is C3 into C7 symmetry. He described in combination of these two symmetries how uh, it unfolded in unfolds in the universe and how it should be included in creating uh, systems. But um, uh, C3 into C, uh, C7, this was Buddhayana's Sulava Sutra. That is, um, uh, that is different. So, so these two should not be mixed. Uh, one is talking about the, um, the altars, the geometries that, that you should have, and uh, the other one, um, and the Katayana's um, Sulava Sutra is talking about the number of components that you will be using. So you see that the nesting of different uh, dual primes was very fundamental. And... We were so inspired by this particular mathematics, we started exploring uh, how two different primes could come in and contribute to, to, to the construction of the, uh, of the universe. Because um, early Vedic period started this culture, but later part of the Vedic period, we do not find the uh, expansion of this particular mathematics. And we found beautiful thing. So my life, whole life has been exploring triplet or triplets in many different kinds of systems. So uh, three cross three, you will find that this is a statistically most dominating prime in the universe. But the second one is C5, C11. I'm not saying Vedic Munis and Rishis invented everything to the perfect. 
but why not take it forward do uh, contribute something fundamental to this kind of concepts because after after vedic era even hindus didn't take it up and took it forward the combination of primes so apart from higher dimensional tensors mm -hmm. 4 cross 4 and 8 cross 8 tensors that I talked about in our first video of our uh, Vedic mathematics series. The second thing that we did uh, contributed is identifying two different dominating primes or three different dominating primes that are there, which are regulating different kinds of dynamics of the universe. Uh, that's all here for today. So do like, and uh, if you like it, uh, press the like button and then subscribe.